Ehler, well, wedding season is in full swing, and before newlyweds say I do, it is pretty important to get on the same page when it comes to your finances. So joining us this morning with more is Senior Vice President of Wealth Management, UBS, Frank Cannon. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, you're welcome. So what are things that couples need to start thinking about? So the way we organize the conversation or help couples organize it is really in three areas. So the mechanics of money, which mm -hmm. is, okay, who's going to do the heavy lifting? Right. Is one spouse going to delegate it all to the other? And if so, make sure you include the other one on the big picture items. The next one is the money language. What does it mean to you? Is one spouse a saver and the other one a spender? Mm -hmm which often happens, so you have to get together and make a decision, okay, how are we gonna live our lives money-wise? And then third, it's the goals, okay? Do we wanna spend now for experiences while we're young at the, at the cost of saving less for retirement, or do we wanna live a more frugal lifestyle now and then save more money for a better lifestyle in retirement? And so those things have to be ironed out between the spouses. So what are some of the conversations that need to take place? So couple important things as soon as you get back from the honeymoon. Yeah. One, insurances. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we going to both have our separate insurance or one spouse going to go on the health insurance of the other one? And you want to make sure you do that quickly because some plans have a window where you need to add a spouse quickly. And then the second one is going to be beneficiaries. All right, you know, you may have had siblings, parents, um, or somebody else on your beneficiaries, you got to change that to your spouses. You want to do that right Smart. away. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then the other thing is, is that you want to address your wills. Okay. As soon as you get married, when you get back home, you know, go out, get your wills updated so that it reflects the fact that you have a new person in your life. Well, and you talked about health insurance, but life insurance is also very important too. And it's something that young people don't like to think a lot about. That's correct. And so what we tell people is think about in your absence, how would the surviving spouse get along mm -hmm. financially. And if it's a need, then you have to go out and address the insurance. So what are some real action that newlyweds can take now? So what we think is really important is seek help in the conversation, okay? So yeah. an advisor can act like a mediator between the two spouses to draw out these conversations, have them in a respectful uh, way, and then they can also help you make a plan to address the various items that need to be taken care of. Good advice, Frank. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thanks for having me. You are welcome.